So we've been seeing that you know NPP has been campaigning separately from the BJP. So uh, is the alliance still on or is it not anymore? We always fight elections uh, on our own. Uh, NPP is a different party. Uh, BJP is a different party. Uh, if you've seen the past elections, whether it's in Meghalaya, Manipur, uh, and even at the national level in Lok Sabha also, we've always fought elections on our own uh, ideologies and our own uh, 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 stands. And uh, therefore, the election is a different process where we fight elections at our own level. But then, obviously, post the elections, depending on the results and situations, then the alliances, if necessary, are made. So that's how it is. And then uh, coming to the uh, issues in uh, GHADC, water scarcity, road connectivity, and several others, once if NPP makes the majority, do, uh, how, how do you think to go about dealing with these See, issues? Water, water and um, road concerns are concerns that are being addressed by the state government. Uh, already, uh, I don't know if it's appropriate place to talk about all this, but uh, we have already done a lot of work uh, in terms of uh, water supply. Tura has seen a major boost in terms of water supply scheme that we've given. Major roads, in fact, have already been done out here, and there's also many more things that are that are happening. And uh, I don't think it's appropriate in the polling station to talk about uh, uh, development aspects, especially when the voting is going on. Uh, but uh, the state government, along with the uh, district council, will work on other issues that are of concern of the district council. Uh, and more importantly, we have to work towards uh, making sure the council is uh, stable, council uh, becomes financially uh, independent, and uh, the overall management of the finances uh, improved. And that's really what the challenge is. And it is uh, with the state government that will work together to ensure that it is achieved. How do you look at the perspective of the voter turnout till 10 o'clock? Uh, it's uh, te uh, 13 point some percent like that. Yes, Tura has always been uh, voting low when it comes to district councils. In the last election also there were 45,000, 46,000 total votes there, out of which only 11,000 polled last time also. So it's not that uh, surprising that we we'll see less turnout, especially in Tura. Uh, but we expect more than what uh, was the turnout last time. So last time, as I said, uh, we had a turnout of only 30%, 25%, 30% in Tura. So I hope that we'll touch at least 50%. But no, no one being called. In fact, we have already taken action against it. We have already called them and told them this totally illegal. Uh, there have been visits been made uh, to the uh, to inform the uh, concerned uh, organizations, but uh, none of them are there. They're under, the, I guess, they're they're out of the houses. So all this information is gone. There's nothing like that. There's no apprehension at all. People are coming out in large numbers. You go to market area, there's a much longer line out there. Uh, so it's uh, voting is going on in full swing. There's nothing. The Meghalaya chief minister has already cast his vote. We're here in one of his po uh, on, uh, one of the polling stations, and this polling station right now it's Walbakre. As we've spoken to Meghalaya chief minister, you know uh, the campaigning session that was held, even though the uh, allies that they have with the Bharatiya Janata Party, but yet this is the uh, election process when they carry out campaigning process. It's always done in an individual manner, or how the political po parties would always carry carry out their own uh, campaigning session. So here in uh, Walbagre, where uh, there's a, a vote, uh, the process of uh, voting is carrying out. Uh, it's going on at the moment here. As we've seen earlier, uh, the uh, turnout is much more at one of the polling stations, which is at, uh, uh, in, uh, here around Intura. And we've spoken to a BJP candidate also, who had mentioned that they're ca confident in winning this election. And uh, that was Bernard Marak at Chanmari, who had spoken to East Mojo. Now in this con uh, this polling station that we can see, uh, there's not much turnout like how we have seen earlier. Uh, there's uh, less turnout here. Though uh, what we must wait and watch is uh, towards the end of the day, how much of this voter turnout will carry out. Now remember that this uh, GHADC elections is uh, necessitated, which the term had ended in the month of October 2020. But due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the election was not carried out and there was an administrator's rule. Now, a total of 58 uh, candidates are in the fray for this GHADC, uh, GHADC elections. And for the uh, voter turnout that we have, it's a total of uh, 13 point a few uh, percent here. That is the voter turnout so far till 9 to 10 o'clock. And we're waiting for more figures to come in. Once again, this is the GHADC elections that is taking on. As you can see right behind me, the chief minister has just finished to cast his vote. And he's confident that NPP will make a majority in this GHADC elections. This is Princess Russia for eastmojo.com in Tura.
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.